Hello and welcome to lesson number 9.1. We will talk about raster to vector conversion as part of the modal completing the analysis. That's the working title. This lesson now is, is quite short. We will just convert a raster to a vector file and vice versa. So follow me on this journey. So from the last lesson, we have now the suitable areas for this. These are areas that are at least eight connected pixels. So they have a distinct size at least. And uh, either they are facing north and are not steeper than five degrees, or they are just flat. So the slope is below two, per, uh, two degrees. That said, we would like to visualize this now not as a raster file but we would like to make it available for all the vector-based tooling we have exported in the last lessons right so therefore there are some gdal functions available one is the raster conversion where we will convert or polygonize this raster set and vice versa we will decide to create a, ve a raster file out of a vector file so first of all Polygonize function works like that. We will create a, we will select our input layer. We will define, well, there's just one band, so we will use it. The name of the field to create will be um, not DN, but let's take it, take the name as suitable. We don't need to use eight connectness now because we have done this already in the, in the former step or in the step prior. So there are no additional commands. We will use it as an um as a temporary layer layer now so just press and run take some time because there are a lot of polygons and always be careful if you would like to convert a raster file to a polygon file because just remember now we are sure that there are just two values zero and one so if we decide to dissolve the functions the whole polygon layer will only have two polygons one for the class zero, one for the class one. And um, so this is an easy to use data set, but also if we're looking, there are a lot of connected islands. So if I now select here, one of those in the input output, this is one polygon. It has a lot of donuts and, and so on, but this is one polygon for the, for the moment. You can see that there are, that there are issues with the data, right? So first of all, Let's have a look here on the, on the border edge. These values are zero. That was a problem in the last set. You remember this, where we filtered values to be below zero to or below and equal zero to zero. That's a result now. So, and then there are values of one where they are connected. But you see, not every pixel is one polygon, and that makes it makes it important now if, if it's otherwise so if we would work the same process here on not on the suitable areas filtered but on the on, on the slope Maybe not the slope there's a binary rest as well on the aspect here yeah, this would make a total different different uh, will, will be a total different result and there will be a lot of polygons at least each pixel will be most likely one polygon um, so as that now we have the output here keep in mind that these areas here are a little bit crooked maybe we should try the same algorithm not on the filtered but on the original data set we will remove the layer once again use polygonize to uh, raster to vector we will use the suitable areas not the filtered one Put the suitable areas once again we will name it suitable and just press run let's close this again now we can see there is a border here and let's let's query this result right so this is now no data in the in the input and minus 21 million whatsoever in the output so this is this is cool for the moment now what we can do with the processing now on first of all we can 
of course filter and then do amazing things with it so let's have a filter approach here and say suitable bigger than zero press on ok and these are now only the suitable areas right marked in brown but now if if you do have a vector file and you would like to make a polygon um, a raster data set out of it that's that's no issue at all so go with the rasterize vector to raster so we'll use the output field to burn in is suitable fixed value to burn no output raster units will be pixels 837 against 661 this was a dimension of the last image we, use, we will use a layer extent from the aspect because the extent is the same and we will use a specified no data value we will go with the minus 32768 and the data will be integer 16 we will pre-initialize the data with minus 32768 and let's press run now the resulting image is as follows we have here ones zeros and no data so that's a result of our conversion from raster to polygon and back to polygon again and if we compare the result now with our suitable raws just by flickering through the image you can see that there was no different or that there's no difference at all now once again if you have any question or remarks comments whatsoever just drop me a line please subscribe take care and goodbye